Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how you can add custom terrain and vegetation textures into Game Guru Max. So let's start with the vegetation. First of all, you really want to get X Texture Converter by Graphics. He makes a lot of very useful apps for Game Guru and Game Guru Max. So it's yeah, this tool is a must. Go get it. Okay, so once you have it, you can open it. And it's really simple to use also. Alright, so I have prepared three textures for this video. We will now open our um, grass texture. It has to be uh, 1024 by 1024 and also PNG, so no DDS or anything. And now we will, we will convert it to BC3. Yes, and convert texture. Would you like to convert another texture? Not at the moment, okay. Then you want to go to your Game Guru Max folder, go to files. Open grass bank folder and here you will see all the default vegetation presets. And now you want to replace a uh, default preset. Let's say hmm, we'll replace this one. You just go to Rename it and apply the name to your custom vegetation and overwrite the file. So we will check out the outcome in a moment. Let's uh, change the terrain texture. We open texture converter again. Open. We choose our dead leaves color PNG and for the color map you need to select BC7. It's also here in the description by the way. And also you will get errors when the resolution doesn't meet the requirements. So this has to be 2048 by 2048. Alright. so. BC7, convert texture, boom, done. Here it is. Would you like to convert another texture? Yes. Let's open it again and select our normal map. You can also do this with a uh, surface texture. For surface you need BC1, but I don't have a surface texture at the moment. So we will leave that. Select BC5 for normal maps. And again hit convert texture and close the app. Now we have our custom textures ready. We can delete the old ones. And now you go to GameGuru apps which is located in your documents folder. GameGuru Max, files terrain textures, custom textures and now you need to create a new folder. Let's name it 5 dead, dead leaves and the name of these textures are, is, is really uh, important because the order you know, the alphabetic order will determine in which slot the texture is. So if you add a new texture, make sure that you have added on top of the previous ones. So don't name it like zero uh, or one. Um, so that will only cause to mix things up when you have already uh, painted the terrain in your editor. Okay, so to add the custom textures, open your new folder, drop it in, 
And that's basically it. And now let's watch our results in Game Guru Max. So I'm not sure if this is right. Uh, the, this white screen I have, I'm not sure why this is. I have a kind of a fast PC, so not sure why this is happening. So we just gotta wait for a second. <coughs> and also it's important to know that in the future this workflow might change when Game Guru Max changes. So this is uh, only a temporary solution for this maybe. Okay, let's try. Let's go to terrain paint mode let's try our custom terrain first so here you go to change texture folder and you then open your custom terrain custom textures folder and boom we have our new textures Oh, this looks wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe the image was too dark already. There's definitely something strange happening with the compression sometimes. But uh, the result isn't as important as, you know, showing the workflow how it's done. So I have... Uh, Con converted other textures as well and as you can see they work fine you see all right and now let's try our new grass let's see if i can find it here it is and it's also really dark for some reason okay Yeah, and that's basically it. Not very complicated, but uh, if you don't know that stuff, it's, you know, you might not um, figure out the solution yourself. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and see you next time.